Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is nine o'clock on a Sunday, which means it's time for a uh, it's time for a review show special. Now, this is where I take a deep dive into a particular product or a creator or a particular trick, and I tell you everything that I know. Uh, about that product or that trick. And today it's gonna to be a little bit different. It's not gonna be a product, it's not gonna be a trick, it's gonna be a creator, but it's gonna be an online platform. Now I've done review show specials on different online platforms before. I've done them on Ollie Mealing's membership and Christian Grace's membership, which are two fantastic platforms. But today I wanna to talk about the newest membership platform that there is out there. It's through Patreon, it's called the Society of Secrets, and it has been created and found founded by one of my best friends in the world, Lloyd Barnes. Um, so, if you've been wondering what the Society of Secrets is, or you want to know more, then it's time to open up the curtains and take a sneak peek behind the Society of Secrets. So, first of all, I just want to tell you that, like I said, Lloyd is a very good friend of mine, uh, and he was kind of, as he was building the Society of Secrets, and as he was putting all of this stuff together, I was... Uh, you know, privy to a lot of stuff that was going on. He was telling me the tricks that he was going to be included in there. And, uh, you know, I, I, I've seen a lot of the tricks before they even hit the Society of Secrets. And I knew how good it was going to be at the time. However, this review is going to be completely unbiased. Um, you know, I'm going to give you my raw opinion of what I think of the platform. Uh, but yeah, so let's look at it. The Society of Secrets. Now, if you haven't been, if you've been living under a rock for the last few years and you don't know who Lloyd Barnes is, Lloyd has been in this industry his entire life. It feels like his entire life. He's based in Wales. He, uh, you know, he rose to fame uh, working with Illusionist where he released, created some of the best magic tricks and the best selling magic tricks of all time. Uh, he then stepped away from Illusionist a couple of years ago. He's now working with the creative team at Murphy's Magic and as well as bringing out many tricks of his own, including things like Lux and Pro Caps and, and Maxim and Cognito and, and other really, really, really exciting products like Dex that's coming around the corner with Javier uh, Fuenmajor. Uh, he's also been responsible for bringing to market some incredible tricks uh, like um, the Quantum Deck and Shrapnel by Kim Anderson, just to name a couple. So he's been in and around the magic industry his entire life. And about a year ago, he started running a YouTube channel. He's always had a YouTube channel. He's always had a social media presence, but it was about a year ago, maybe around about a year ago, that he started taking YouTube seriously. And he started uploading regular videos. And on a Tuesday, he would do a tutorial Tuesday, and he still does. You can go check out his channel. Every Tuesday, he uploads a tutorial Tuesday where he performs and then teaches you how to make a trick. Now, the interesting thing about every trick that Lloyd puts up on YouTube is they are his own creation. It's not like he's putting up a trick that somebody else has created. It's his own creation, and it normally involves some sort of build because uh, Lloyd is one of the best gimmick builders in the world. So he uh, has an innate ability to be able to take a card box, a piece of sellotape, some blue tack and a Sharpie and turn it into one of the best tricks that you've ever seen. And he does it over and over and over again. And I have been watching Instagram. I've been watching TikTok. I've been watching all these different social media platforms. And I gotta tell you, um, I see more magicians doing some of the tricks that Lloyd taught on his YouTube channel than anything else because they're all visual and they're all amazing, but they're designed to work not just on social media, but in real world as well. Now, off the back of the success of his YouTube channel, and it has been very successful, to put it into context, Magic TV has around about 14,000 subscribers, while his channel has almost 50,000 subscribers and it, right, and it goes up and up and up every day. Um, off the success of his YouTube channel, he decided to set up a membership. And the reason he set up the membership is because there's a lot of tricks that he didn't want to teach on YouTube, that he wanted to teach in his membership. Um, you know, his attitude is they're too good for YouTube. Uh, Lloyd is very prolific and he has ideas all of the time. And part of the YouTube channel is just a, a platform that he can use to clear his brain. So when he gets an idea, uh, you know, putting it on YouTube is a way to get it out of his head so he can start working on something else. The irony is they are tricks that he thinks aren't good enough to release as a trick or release as something else 
Well, in all honesty, most of the tricks that Lloyd puts up on YouTube, you know, you would see come out through a magic dealer through a different name. Absolutely. You know, they, they just would. Uh, his standards are very high. So when he says, oh, the tricks that go in the Society of Secrets are too good for YouTube, it makes you think, oh my gosh, what are these tricks going to be like? They are going to be incredible, right? And, uh, and they are. So that is the history behind the Society of Secrets. The most important part of this review is talking to you guys about whether the Society of Secrets is worth the money. Now, we're going to get into that in a minute. But first of all, I wanted to run an interview for you with Lloyd Barnes. So I sat down and chatted to Lloyd. I talked about the Society of Secrets, what it is, how it came about, the type of magic that is going to go on there, how regularly people are going to see content being updated. All of these points are things that people need to know with a subscription model. So I sat down and I asked Lloyd all of these questions. I got the answers and uh, this leaves no stone unturned. So let's play the interview. This should answer all of your questions about the Society of Secrets. Okay. So I'm here with the Welsh wonder wizard, the man himself, the legend, Mr. Lloyd Barnes. How are you, Lloyd? You all right? I'm good. I was waiting for the abuse. No, no abuse. This isn't the podcast, man. This is, this is, <laughs> this is, this is magic TV. I'm respectful. <laughs> On, on this channel, you Welsh person, you. Um, so That's what I thought you said. There you go. <laughs> now so I feel like I'm home. <laughs> I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be good. But seriously, I know how busy you are. You're like pumping out projects left, right, and center of yours and other people's on Murphy's. You've got a million things going on. I know you have. Your YouTube channel's blowing up, but thanks for finding me. Do, do you know when you say that I'm busy? Yeah. I, that's like Usain Bolt saying that like my mum runs fast. You are. You are I know the busiest man I've ever met in my entire life. I, I just, I just, I just, you know, don't like to uh, sit around doing nothing. <laughs> no, yeah, Jeez. <laughs> that's an understatement of the century. But, but this isn't about me, Lloyd. This is about you because I, I, I want to talk to you about the Society of Secrets. And okay. as far as I'm aware, you haven't really done an interview on this yet. And I wanted to find out all about it because, and I want to ask you, I want to talk about the content and what your plans are for it in the future. But first of all, why did you decide to do a membership site? Why did you decide to do, why did you decide to go through Patreon? Why did you do a membership site? Where did that whole thing come from? Has it been an idea that you've had for a while? Where did, where did all of this start? Yeah, um, it, it was twofold in a way so the fir the first part of it and especially like the, the the like the concept of it or like the the feel of it is i i i have had really bad experiences with magic clubs for the most part i find the most magic clubs and even conventions and just general like a lot of the way that magicians interact with each other they're quite clicky or it's like a boys club you know um and i don't know that whole not gang mentality, but people tend to, there's a lot of bullying or insider jokes that goes on. And I'm never like that. And it's so prevalent in, in so not all, but so many magic societies. Um, but in the same, at the same time, I love, my grandfather told me stories of, of, of when he went to the magic circle and how because he wasn't a member but how he was like let in it was all secretive and it was just like the way he told his experience it was it was mysterious and amazing uh, so i've always wanted to be part of a secret magic society I've, i'm a member of the 52 whatever that is um another secret society and it didn't i haven't i still don't know what it fully is and what it you know was supposed to be but there's something inherently attractive to me about a secret society uh so when i quit illusionist um just so much of what i'd been doing for so many years in magic had been sort of forced to be business business related that i was i set up or i was in the process of setting up a secret society basically a magic club uh, with the sole focus being that we're there to talk about magic tricks and secrets that's it i don't care about the drama the gossip like that stuff 
gets spoken about everywhere. You can't stop anyone discussing that. <clears throat> but I don't, I, 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 not that I don't care about it. I despise it. Mm. I don't care about the drama. I want to talk about tricks. That's all I, that's all I want to talk about is magic tricks and secrets. And it's, the, it's like the, it's like the one thing that miss, that's missing from, for me, it's felt like anyway, you know, mm. uh, that's what I wanted the fo- sole focus to be. So I started doing that. I was setting it up in the background, sort of like, I just like, I just, I just quite like design and things. And I was like coming up with logos and, and th- ideas I had to make it exciting for people. Anyone could join. Um, and then I, and then I, after a few months, I started working with Murphy's and, and to keep myself fresh, I started doing the YouTube channel, which is an outlet for me. I use it as a, as a, as a public sketchboard. So the, everything I share my own, I don't, I don't expose magic on my channel, but I teach my creations on my YouTube channel. Um, and it's, it's, it's the place where every single week on a Tuesday, I teach a new piece of my, my magic. And it's the stuff that isn't incredible. I, I, I get flattered when people say that it is good or whatever, but it's the stuff that would normally have gone into the notebooks or lost. And but it's you've built up, you've built up over 50,000 subscribers in the in a year well yeah I, I think the thing is because because it's not about money it's not about business I had that like squashed out of me before and I lost my love for my art form it's everyone's art form but it, you know it's for me it's my blood sweat and everything it goes through my my bones and my soul magic and I, I didn't have an outlet. I love magic and video, right? Magic and video are my two main passions in my life. And I didn't have an outlet for it. So I started just putting up material, which which is just the way I would, I, I just have to have my outlet. And because it's not about, the, like the YouTube channel, as everyone knows, it's free. I give away all my ideas on there for free. Um, I think that maybe that's why it does well, because when you just do something for the passionate side of it, then you know, it's not a, yeah. it's not a hard sell in a way. But the thing is, if, if, if I had no subscribers at all, I, it would, it would, it would, it would be, my channel would be exactly the same as it is now mm. in terms of the content and everything, because it has to be my outlet. Cause I, 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 you know, you know what it's like when you've just got to create and you've got to share. Um, but while doing that, there was I, I have I, I have creations or things that um that that I've worked on for years or some of the stuff I, I've come up with whilst making videos that they they're secrets that are like way too good to just share publicly because all the stuff that goes on YouTube is like the b-side material the funny ideas or the fun ideas the stuff that I just think is quirky and, and it's different um but there are, and then then if I have certain ideas they become products like Lux. I couldn't just share Lux on YouTube because you couldn't make it yourself at home. I couldn't share Cognito on YouTube again. So they have to, if people want them, then they have to go off and become products. And so I have this bank of B-side material, which I share free every week. And then I have the products which can't be shared because they're physical. So I literally, that's like, you know, Santa Claus. And then I have this material, which is, I've been really fortunate. I've traveled the world um, over and over. And I've I based my full performing repertoire for at least four years was just magician fools because mm-hmm. that's all I was all the only people I was really seeing I was going from convention to convention to convention to convention to convention I did the circumference of the earth four times in one year once just doing magic conventions and magic filming South Korea America all over Europe like everywhere so all my all my material everything that i was performing was just my own ideas my own creations that were that were designed to fool magicians because they were my only my only willing audience, really. So I have all that stuff, which it's not really suitable to become products because it's kind of like download material, but also it's the stuff that I use myself to, the, the Magician Fool, is, they're good for participants as well, but this, because the secrets are often so good with, and I say that, you know, I know that this me talking about my own stuff, but for, to me, the secrets is just way too good to give away. Um, they're not physical products, so I can't, couldn't sell them uh, anyway and, and people so as i'm sharing these weekly videos people were saying to me i do a, a weekly live stream on a sunday and people said well keep asking like these are great uh, what's what's like 
the best trick you have, Lloyd, or what's the best thing, or what do you do for this and that trick? And a lot of, mostly all those times, when they ask me like what my best material is and when can I share it, I just, I, I can't, I'm like, no, I can't, I'm not sharing it. Um, so I asked my subscribers, I put like a poll up and said, I'm happy to share it with people who are passionate about it, but I'm not going to put that knowledge in the hands of the Joe public. Mm. Um, and I also don't want to, I'm all about making magic. If, if, if it has to have like a price tag on it, it has to be affordable. I don't, I don't think big profits is, is what it's about. You know, if I, if I did, I wouldn't be giving out free. I wouldn't be doing my tutorials, like end of discussion. Um, and they took a vote and people had loads of different ways and concepts and things of doing it. And, and the, I, like, I think it was, a, I don't know, in, in the end, it was like seven, between like five different options of ways for me to share this material, 75% of people voted to open up a membership where I could teach my best material with impunity and with just enough of like a barrier to stop the Joe public getting in. And since I uh, had already like sort of designed a secret society and, and and everything that I wanted with it, you know, from just like simple things like the logo to wax seals and stuff like that. It kind of felt like it was, oh, I hate this word, it's so thingy, but it was kind of like destiny or a little bit of serendipitous fate, you know what I mean? Because I already had the, the whole secret society thing was going to be a local thing as well, for the record, because mm -hmm. uh, yeah, my uh, my father-in-law was the, I don't know what they call it, the head of the Masons, like the, the oh, grand yeah, yeah, the master or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so he had the, the Freemasons Hall. I thought it'd be so good to run the magic club there and just get local Welsh magicians to come and hang out every week or every month and just talk purely magic. So anyway, so it just felt like it all just felt right. And then, um, and then from, but it had to have more to it. It couldn't just be the tricks. It had to be this community where we talk magic tricks. And then, so I integrated a Discord community with it. And now... It's alive and uh, it's it's kind of exploded. And that's why massively I exploded. To, one of the things that you've done, and I think it was well, it was it was by design. You see lots of memberships. I mean, lots of membership. Christian Grace's membership is incredible. Fantastic. I've been a member since day one. Rory Adams has a similar sort of thing, which is just as good. But what none of that. I remember interviewing Christian and waxing lyrical about the content that he has on there, and I said to him um do, do is there a community can the members of your membership interact with each other and he's like no 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 it's just about the tricks and what you've done is you've created this community which is i think as big a part of the society of secrets as the tricks itself and it's quite unique i haven't seen any other membership sites that do that not even like my thing the net tricks we don't have a discord so we have like a a community place where people can post and answer it, but that's it, it. You've gone so interactive by having a dedicated Discord server, and as somebody who's a member of the Society of Secrets, a paid member, um, annual paid as well, annual paid. I wanted to make sure I was locked in because I thought when he sees my name, he might kick me out. So I was like, <laughs> I locked myself in for a year. Um, paid member of the Society of Secrets, I've seen the Discord, and man, it's it's popping in there like it's it's really i've i've seen a lot of discords where they get set up and they have grandiose plans and it's like a barren wasteland in there like nobody's ever interacting with anybody else nobody's talking to anyone else and it just ends up failing because there's no um support from the members yeah. I don't know if this is because this is a paid thing and therefore they've all got something in common, which is they believe in you because they paid you money to be a part of this. I don't know what it is, but this is the most vibrant and sort of, you know, really motivating Discord server that I've ever seen in Magic. Thanks, man. Well, I, 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 I'd like to think it's not because of me. Uh, I, it's so funny that there was a, a people started chatting in the hangout that we have on there yesterday and um like rory adams popped up and he's, he's a member of loads of discord communities and he just said like he doesn't and me and him are friends um he, does, and he can't i don't know can't pinpoint why but by far the society of secrets is the most active community mm. um, and then another few members and, and just to like rory writes a blog so i'm happy to say his name but a few other members and the, the chats in the history so anyone any members listening knows what i'm on about um, but said so they're a member because there are other people that have memberships too with discords um but 
but I, I, they, for some reason, that everyone's just is just incredibly active, noticeably more in mine. But I think I don't. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure whether it's because people, you know, are, are, are active members or not. But for me, there's no, like, there's no sell. So the the, the barrier of entry is to stop the Joe public getting in. It's got to be there. Otherwise, I may as well just put it on YouTube. And that's the, the complete juxtapose of why it exists. It is a secret society. But that's it. There's no upsell. It's not, this is not, uh, th- it, th- this community doesn't exist to funnel people onto any end product. It's about giving more than anything. Constantly, I'm in there sharing. People ask, uh, oh, what was one that I worked on the other day? Um, Somebody just wanted to learn my like tips on crazy man's handcuffs and a bunch of stuff to do with work on card handling things that I do. Um, so it was in my pajamas, just sending videos uh, constantly. And and it's kind of like the ethos that the whole community is taking on that we're all, everyone just mucks in and just shares everything that we can. And, and that's what it's about. And isn't, but it's, it's a, it's a really like fostering community. And I think maybe this is the, the goal for it is that um, there's no, we're not talking shit, pardon my French, about other other people in there. We're not like just, it's not just a bitchy boys club. It's not a click. Everyone's really, everyone, I'm getting private messages from people. Well, I, I can't even get into it, half of it, but it's become, very 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 caring everyone's very caring on there and people have people when people haven't been able to get certain things they've had gifts sent to them um some people are going through some hard stuff so we're having private calls and we're just keeping up with it and although i wanted my secret society to be purely about magic tricks and the secrets to do with tricks um without the clicky you know smack talk and things i'm all right with with just love like and that's, I think, and that's what people keep popping up saying. And I, I don't take, I, I'm saying it because I don't take credit for it. Um, but I, you know, I, I think when I, when I tell people about, you know, when people can, when people read about the Society of Secrets and how to become a member, it does state that it's about, it's not about the click. It's not about the boys club. It is about the magic. And, and I think by letting people know that this isn't the magic cafe, you know, this is, uh, a home from pure pure magic enthusiasts then maybe that's why maybe that's why people are just extremely active and, and like it I that's don't know. great i don't know it, it, it is you built something special there and then t- you know i mean the other aspect of this is the tricks right i mean we got we got to talk yeah, about yeah. tricks as well um how often are you uploading tricks i know it launched with like four or five items didn't it um i know there's other aspects which you wanted to bring in as well which we can talk about later like deep dives and creativity and so on and so forth but in terms of actual tricks it's launched with like some incredible routines that i'm going to talk about later including and i'm not just saying this the best triumph i've ever seen bar none like the best triumph i've ever seen bar none and the best um coin and bottle that i've ever seen bar none like ever um (laughs) like honestly like you could i remember when sinful came out did because your coin and bottle has a similar feel to sinful in that it's pretty much impromptu there's no gimmicks it's a regular coin you could go and do it anywhere it's an impossible penetration everything's examinable at the end i remember that being charged you could charge a fortune for this trick if you decided Mm. to market it as a download just like wayne did and people would buy it because the visual is astounding and it's just there as part of the lineup so you know, uh, there's some incredible tricks in there, but what's your, what, you know, do you want to talk us through what your plan is with it in terms of? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, like that coin and bottle, it's a slow motion impromptu coin and bottle, no slits. Um, that was one of the first full tricks, like complete start to finish tricks that I ever created um, right around the time of Simple. And I, I used that behind the scenes to open doors for me as a consultant and as a creator. So I never released it as my favorite probably my at least like the one that I'm most in love with personally because it's done so much for me creations but it never had the right platform because it is impromptu so I didn't want to put it out as a download I don't know I just felt like it wasn't right as a download 
Um, I didn't want to, it couldn't be made into a physical product. I'm never going to teach it on my YouTube because it's, I just love it. Um, but I would happily share it with people who believed in the same thing that I do, which is mm -hmm. a secret, like uh, magic is about magic and not about the drama that comes with it. And if anyone wanted to, to sort of share that ethos with me, then I would teach them that there. So that, that, yeah, that's the coin and bottle. Uh, the, the plan is like every other week I do a, a, a group jam session because I do those Sunday services. I've been doing them for a year now. You've been a mem you've been on there a few times. I get certain guests on there, some incredible magicians from all around the world. Um, but the big thing that I get a lot of people asking for is, is time with me. And it's just not like possible for me to, I, I, my, my ideal world would just be to hang out with magicians all the time, but it's just like with a, with a family and everything, it's not possible. And I started a Sunday service during the pandemic to, to reach back out with people who weren't connected. And, but the, and the big thing I kept getting back was that people wanted to talk with me and, and I couldn't do that on YouTube through the, through the live streaming system. Just the way it works is so tricky. So every other week we do a, a live stream, a group jam where I'm on there. Guaranteed, I'm on, I mean, I'm, I'm on the Discord every single day, but guaranteed five till seven on a Sunday every other Sunday, um, it's a group jam and everyone just joins in and we just jam. And that can be whether people want me to help them with it, with the tricks they're working on, whether they want to just see some ideas from me, you know. Uh, and then uh, there'll be at least two new tricks added a month. So I've already added one trick this month of um, the thing that I fooled you with. The thing Incredible. Well, uh, just one of the best thought of cards I've ever seen. Thanks, dude. And, and, but also I'm going to be sharing, which is probably the stuff which I'm the most like nervous about, um, videos on my creative process. So like it's every time like I get interviewed or every time, not every single person, but every time I get interviewed, I can say without fail, people ask me, how do I create, like, what's my process? And definitely in every single live stream, at least one person will ask, how, how do I create? And it just can't be answered in, in, a, in a soundbite. There's just so many aspects to it. Um, so the big thing that I'm sharing on there is my full creative process. And it'll, it'll be a very different range of ways that I teach that, whether it's creating a trick from start to finish. So like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. Then I'm gonna just create a trick on camera fully. Uh, and then or it'll be talking about my theories on creativity and, and why so many people fail at the four, first hurdles of creativity and how to separate yourself from other people. And, and basically that. So they'll be you, getting at least two tricks a month um, and also the, the creativity videos plus the live streams, the group jams, which will get recorded and shared then. That's great. And the other thing is you said that you're going to be one of the plans moving forward at some points is to take like a deep dive into a particular subject, like yes. talk about like one particular thing like ACAN or the Tournament Restored card or something, and just really go deep into everything that you know, which for me is incredible because it's kind of that whole thing of if you teach somebody a trick, well, they've learned that trick. But if you teach everything that you know from a methodology point of view about that plot, it's that whole thing, isn't it? Teach a man to fish, he'll eat forever. And it's it's that same sort of concept, you know. You're yeah. not teaching, you're not giving somebody a fish. You're giving the people the tools they need to go and get their own fish. Yeah, I mean, a lot of, a lot of magic is modular, or a lot of a lot of like when it comes to, for example, at any kind of any number, um, it's almost it's like one of these things that if somebody puts it into word, like a lot of these thoughts people know, but no one's put it into words for them. I'm not saying that these are my ideas solely, but I'm saying that like sometimes you just need somebody to give, to wrap it contextually the thoughts that you have yourself. And once someone does that, it kind of, everything falls into place for you. So like as, as an, for an any card, any number, like breaking down just the card selection process, whether it's a think of a card or a selected card, or do they create the card? all these different options and then exploring like a um, spider web from each for each of those options, how I would consider approaching it and then breaking down the number process. And then also the, the different factors of whether you're going to deal, whether they're going to deal, whether there's like a hand, whether there's gimmicks and approaching everything I would 
explore and consider and talk about when it comes to, for example, an, an ACAN in that context in one long hour plus form content video. And then I would do the same for sandwich effect. Well, you know, does it, is it going to appear visually? Does it appear in the hands? Is it going to be slow motion, fast motion, gimmicks, gimmick free? Why does everyone approach them the same way? Could you do something else other than just two picture cards? Well, what happens if you change this element to sandwich effects and, and why use playing cards and not coins? And I know that sounds ridiculous, but everything with that and in between and suddenly, because I don't think I'm creative at all. I just think that I play a lot and I don't like this magpie effect in magic. Sometimes I just think two objects look good together and you yeah. play with them and, and suddenly you've got like a really unique piece of magic because you've just not done what everyone else is doing. Mm. Instead of reaching to pick up the cards, I pick up the Zippo lighter and the safety pin because they just look kind of cool together. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of it's just play. And I think it can be learned. Like, I think it can be expanded on. I don't think I'm more creative than the next person, just a bit more playful. And, and sometimes just having those ideas framed for you, then you can think, right, you know what, I'm going to pick up two random objects and I'm going to cross it with this plot. And I'm going to tell myself I'm not allowed to use this method or this method. So what can I do? And eventually something will just present itself to you. Amazing. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, I, do. I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. I mean, this, th th you, wow. So just to recap, two new tricks every fortnight. Uh, uh, sorry, every month. Yeah. Um, deep dives into particular subjects as and when. Um, videos as and when about creativity. The Discord server, the community, access to you. And the price is only £15 a month, right? Yeah, £3.75 a week, which is less than a large Americano in Starbucks. I think it is. Not expensive. Not expensive at all. Yeah. I, mean, it's, it's, I mean, that's why I signed up for a year, because it's like incredible value why would you not want to i mean anyone who's seen the output on your youtube channel anybody who's seen the stuff that you've released through illusionist through uh murphy's everything that you've done throughout your career um and and that's only a fraction of what you know and what you, what you're what you're capable of i mean people are going to be uh, genuinely you know i know you i'm your friend but i'm being completely unbiased here this is like one of the best value things in magic like seriously it's ridiculous <laughs> thanks Steve. I'm going to ask you one other question, because this is the question that I always get whenever I review any type of membership site, which is, how do people know? And I know the answer to this, but I'm going to let you answer it. How do people know that you're going to continue to support the Society of Secrets moving forward? Like they sign up and they're like, right, OK, I'm going to sign up. And, and then all of a sudden, there's not two tricks every month. You know, you're not in the Discord server. You know, everything falls apart. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I I just know that there's people going to be watching this that are going to be asking that uh, question. Uh, in their head. Accountability, conscience, and consistency. I suppose is like, look at my look at my YouTube channel. Exactly. And at least at least a tutorial every single week for over a year, and even most when you weeks, had COVID. two to three videos a week. Even when you were um, ill, you were still doing it. Mm -hmm. Even when your um, dog died the next day, you put a video up. Like you're, you're just a machine. Well, the thing is, it's not so much that it's not so much that there's a potential to fail with the Society of Secrets in terms of like, oh yeah, he's just drifted away and he's not uploaded anymore. The Society of Secrets is basically I've I've decided to put the camera on in my day to day life because that's all I do is create magic, same as you. We talk mm -hmm. every single day. All we do is create and talk about yep. magic. Um, mm -hmm. And I already have all the content. I, I, I'm extremely quick at, at filming and editing. All my tutorial Tuesdays are turned around. The, I create the trick, film it and edit it in the same morning before it's released in the afternoon. I, turn, I create the trick from scratch about 7 a.m. and then it's filmed and uploaded by about 9.30, 10 a.m., fully including the thumbnail. So making the videos are no problem. All the content's already created for it because it's just my my good material that I've been doing for donkey's years. Um, but some people take it on and it's a burden because they some people start memberships and they're not creators. Or some people start memberships because they want to earn money 
and live off that money. Mm-hmm. Whereas I already have a full-time job at Murphy's. I don't need the money from the membership at all. I don't need to create the material because it's my material I've been doing for years and it's all ready. I don't have any issues filming and editing because it's bread and butter for me. Um, so the only thing, I don't know, it's just, this is what I love. It's what I do. It's not, um, it's, it's just an insight into my life as opposed to an extension or adding extra to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. So I find it very easy. It's not really a thing. It's just my passion. And, and yeah, like it's not, it's not, I don't know. I've always wanted to do a secret society. Now I have, a, it's not, I have a secret society. I'm part of a secret society. You can't, you know, I can't fall out of it. <laughs> you really have built something special here. And what's, what's the plans moving forward? Um, in terms of everything, in terms of the YouTube channel and the Society of Secrets and, you know, the products that you bring out through Murph, is, is it just going to be more of the same or are yeah, you finding like, I anything? Don't, I don't, like, I still have so many exciting products that I'm working on nonstop. Um, things that I've been wanting to release for years that are just, now now is the right time to put them out. Uh, my YouTube channel is my is my sanity virtual sketch pad by public virtual sketch pad without that i probably wouldn't create it's just it's just my outlet and so that's just continuing the same except the only thing is the live streams on a sunday are just bi-weekly now every other week you know and because i do this the live streams on the uh, society of secrets and then yeah just um there's some just I, like there's people that want to re- there's people that want to teach like incredible material on the society of secrets so i'll have guest spots only for like oh, cool. the best of the best material to go on there um the society want like society things like society only notepads and like i do things with, like special like letters that will be going out with wax seals and i don't know just think just things that you want from a secret society are all <laughs> going to be there for everyone it just sounds a bit like say it out loud it sounds a bit like i don't know well we're magicians i mean magic can sound that to people who aren't magicians but I, I love this stuff man you know so it's just it's just more of the same and just getting into and the it. most important question is there a secret handshake yes there you is you only do it in wales on a farm <laughs> on a stormy night ah! We made it all the way through, almost. <laughs> way through. If I didn't make the sheep joke, you were going to do it. Simple I was, that. I was. At least somebody has now. The elephant, <laughs> is the sheep on the farm, whichever. Um, Lloyd, this has been incredible, man. I I know it's blown up. I mean, I don't want you to talk numbers. I don't think that's fair. But I know, as your friend, that this has blown up beyond your wildest wildest expectations, and. It just shows. I know you're, you 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 don't like talking about yourself. Every single time I try and bring up one of your products, you're like, oh, I don't want to talk about my shit. But you know, this is something really special that you've you've Thank you've you. made here, and I I I know it's just going to go from strength to strength. It's going to become more successful, and more successful, and more successful. And um, I'm really glad you decided to do it. It's Thanks. brilliant. It is. Thank you, man. You, I had um, a Patreon, the actual platform, mm-hmm. uh, reached out. And had a Zoom call with me because it's ex- like when they looked at their back end, they were like, "Okay, just a, just a heads up, like this is cr- actually this this sounds like a sales pitch, but they uh, you can't have annual subscriptions activated unless you've been on the platform for over three months with, and you can't add discounts to that either, um, and and they act because of the because it because of the, how much has exploded on there they opened up annual subscriptions with 10% discount. So if anyone does want to sign up cheaper, um, like you, you, were the, you were the very first person I told you after I got off the call with Patreon, um, then just head over to the site and you can get it cheaper than anyone else for the year. It's amazing. Like I said, best deal in magic. And, and I got to wrap this up now. I'm going to take it back to the studio and give everything a full review. But one last question. I, I, if I don't ask this question while I've got you, on an interview, I think I'll get shot. Completely unrelated to the Society of Secrets. When the hell is Dex coming out? I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you. The biggest thing Hopefully, in magic, right? really end know. of the year, early January. They, they, each one is 
individually handmade um, and they're intricate to make. So how long is a piece know, of string? But, but Murphys have their own sweatshop. I mean, they literally have a warehouse with a sweatshop in there with hundreds of people that come in every single day that get paid like five pence an hour. Just, just <laughs> take them off the roughing <laughs> fluid for a while. You know, it's probably going to do that long-term health care a little bit better. If hey, if you want, if you want to buy Christmas presents for the family by selling quantum decks, you don't want them coming off the roughing fluid stand. <laughs> That's very good points, actually. Yeah, <laughs> keep, them, keep them on the roughing fluid. Keep yeah, this is why stuff. it's because of you. People can't get decks because you, you're selling too many bloody quantum decks. <laughs> your fault. Sorry, about and your that. fault alone. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Well, I really hope it comes out soon because as an owner of Dex, it's it's incredible. But I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more from you in 2023. I know there's products coming. I know there's apps coming. I know some of the content that's going on the Society of Secrets. I know the stuff that's going on the YouTube channel. Man, congratulations on everything you, you do and you carry on doing. And I know you're my inspiration. No joke. Like I, I asked you at the start. I asked you a year ago. Like I, I remember calling you and I was like, what? Like you are incredible what what do i need to do remember like literally on a zoom call just like this this time of year could even be to the day i wouldn't be it would be weird if it was and i wouldn't be surprised by it and you said this is what you need to do man you need to make a schedule you need to stick to it never ever miss your schedule that is more important above everything and you literally gave me the golden blueprint to success and i listened to you and if it wasn't for you i wouldn't have done it so thank you man anything for you it's my fault so i know my wife hates you <laughs> no she doesn't i've seen your latest videos you fucking love me. <laughs> i know <laughs> I made she hates that you make better magic than me <laughs> <laughs> lloyd i'll see you again soon uh, but thank you very much for jumping on Magic TV. I'm going to take it back to the studio and do a full review, but I'll see you again soon. All right, my friend. I'll chat to you in two seconds when you press stop and record. And then Absolutely. We'll yeah, the we'll, we'll, we'll then talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That's uh, the interview with Lloyd. And again, thank you to Lloyd for finding time to sit down with me and chat to me uh, about the Society of Secrets. So um, that's... That's That kind of, in a nutshell, is exactly what the Society of Secrets is. Now, as of time of filming, it's only just recently launched. So uh, currently, the, uh, the actual platform has on it all of the launch titles that were available on launch. But Lloyd is planning on uploading at least a couple of things every single month. Uh, and th th we'll get into other benefits in a bit. But obviously, one of the biggest things that you want when you subscribe to these sort of things is content. You're wanting content all the time. What you don't want to do is subscribe to a platform and nothing is being uploaded. Nothing is being updated. It's like a wasteland. I've been part of those sort of platforms in the past. And it's very disheartening because it's like, well, why am I wasting my money, right? That is not the case with this platform. Not at all. Not at all. This is not a case with this platform because... Um, Lloyd is planning on uploading regular items and you know what I spoke to him and uh, he's got like months and months and months of content because the stuff that he's planning on putting on the Society of Secrets is material that he's been creating for years this isn't stuff like the YouTube channel where he sits down and he creates a trick within half an hour and he puts it on YouTube that's not what this is what this is, is stuff that he's been doing to you for years. Like he says in the trailer, his closely guarded secrets that he's never released to anyone before. That's the sort of material that's going up on the Society of Secrets. And he's got enough material to cover weeks, months, years. Absolutely not a problem. Um, now, in terms of the tricks that are up there at the moment, there's some amazing tricks. I'm telling you right now, the coin in bottle that he puts, uh, that he's got on there, is the best coin in bottle I've ever seen. And it doesn't use fancy gimmicks. It doesn't use anything like that. It's very low tech in how it's done. And it's almost impromptu. You can do it almost anytime, anywhere. But it is one of the most deceptive coin in bottles I have ever seen. From the audience's point of view, it genuinely looks like that coin just goes into that bottle. Like just, and it's not like a, uh, a folding coin where you go boom and that larger action hides that smaller action. That bloody coin looks like it melts into that bottle. It's absolutely amazing. I remember the first time Lloyd showed me that, which was over uh, 
Zoom and he just floored me completely. I had no clue how it worked. Um, there's a version of the elevator card that, uh, uh, w which was by Gate and Bloom many, many, many years ago. And it was a gimmick card box where the cards were in the box and, and the card was sticking out and it seemingly rose up through the deck. A little bit like a gimmicked easy version of Ray's Rise by Ray Cosby. Um, well, the Lloyd has a version of that. I think it's called the Glass Elevator. Lloyd has a version of that on the Society of Secrets, which is just incredible, like super incredible. Um, and, and way more practical than any method that I've ever seen before. Oh, and by the way, if a lot of the tricks that are on the uh, Society of Secrets, they don't involve making props, uh, they don't involve uh, you know making stuff like his YouTube channel does. Some of them do, and if you need files or anything like that, they are included in the Society of Secrets. So <coughs> you don't have to go to the trouble of sourcing things because everything is up there, which I thought was another important point. Uh, the standout trick for me when it comes to the launch titles, and he launched with like five or six things, if not more. But one of the uh, the standout tricks for me, the two two of the standout tricks, one was a thought of card, which he showed me when I went around his house a couple of weeks ago and just absolutely knocked my socks off. I had no idea whatsoever how he did this. Like it was incredible. It, may, it basically, I, I thought of a card from a deck. I just thought of a card. I thought of a card and he knew what it was and he never asked me a question. It's incredible. Totally different method to anything I've ever seen before. Totally different approach to anything that I've ever seen before. Really smart, really clever thinking. Um, but the standout trick, the other standout trick, and probably the best trick of the launch titles for me is his triumph routine. So his triumph routine is just ridiculous. I mean, that's all I can say, it's ridiculous. The card, it's a shuffled deck of cards in use. It's a regular deck of cards. The cards really are shuffled face up into face down. There's no ambiguity there. There's no, um, oh right, okay, I'm doing a full shuffle. Nothing like that. No optical reverses, nothing. The cards really are shuffled face up into face down. You can show that the cards are shuffled face up into face down. And yet you can do an incredible triumph style routine where all the cards write themselves. The thinking behind this routine just for me, it kind of just shows how how clever Lloyd is. Because Triumph has been around since time began. You know, time to, well, it hasn't. I mean, obviously it was invented by Di Vernon, but it's been around for a very long time. And there has to be more variations of Triumph than any other routine. I have personally published about 400 <laughs> different versions of Triumph over the years. And I'm very happy with all of them, as I wouldn't have published them. But none of them are as clever as the method that Lloyd has here. The method that Lloyd has here is simply genius. There's no other way to, to put it. I, I challenge anybody. I know that um, both with myself and Lloyd, there's people out there that don't particularly like us and will be negative about anything that we do or say. And that's absolutely fine. I challenge anyone to look at this Triumph and not think that the whole thing is genius. It really is, just in every way. Um, I, I think that um, this could have sold as a very expensive download and people would have bought it and would have been happy with it. And the fact that it's included for free on the Society of Secrets, man, it's amazing. And it's one of the reasons why I'm not actually going to uh, perform any tricks on this review show, because I don't want to perform the tricks. The whole point of the Society of Secrets is the routines are secret. I don't think it's fair performing routines on, on, on YouTube as part of this review show so that people can reverse engineer them and then not have to buy uh, a ticket to you know the Society of Secrets. Will I perform some of these tricks in the future down the line? Absolutely. But for now, I don't want to do any of this stuff because I think I want to keep it for uh, my audiences. I, want to, I, I don't want to respect Lloyd enough that I'm not actually going to perform his tricks um, on this YouTube channel so that people can maybe reverse engineer them. I don't think that's fair. Um, outside of the tricks, uh, you've also got access to Lloyd. Uh, and more importantly, he has a Discord server set up for the Society of Secrets where he is building a tribe. He is building a community of people um, who share his vision. And his vision is, you know, creating this uh, this this community of people who just love magic and this Discord server. I've had a chat a chance to be in there. 
uh, for a little while and everyone's just super friendly and jamming all the time and Lloyd's in there jamming all the time and and uh, it's, it's like a Facebook group. Everyone's nice to each other. It's weird. Um, and so the Patreon is a really big part of the membership. It's what takes, you know, I've seen other membership sites and there's no community aspect to it at all. It's literally just get access to the tricks and the great tricks, but that's all it is. Whilst the Discord server that Lloyd's created and how hands-on he is with the Discord server is in my opinion, one of the things that really elevates this above and beyond anything else, purely because he's created a community and all of the people that are in the Society of Secrets, they all know each other and they all chat to each other and they're all jumping on different calls and talking to each other about different magic that they've seen. Um, it's nice. It's, it, it really is a, uh, a, a big part of the platform. Uh, the only other thing that I can, I can talk about here is uh, that Lloyd has also put together a series of videos which are going to be released over the coming weeks and months which are kind of deep dives into a particular subject so he's going to be doing really long in-depth videos about torn and restored card for example where he'll literally just dissect the plot and talk to you about everything he knows about torn and restored card he's planning on doing the same thing about ACAN. he's planning on doing numerous sessions about creativity because one of the questions that lloyd gets all of the time and i think it's in part because of the fact that he works at murphy's in the creative team he's worked at the creative team at illusionist he's created magic his whole life he creates magic and uploads them to youtube every week people ask him about the creative process how to be more creative how to create a magic trick because everybody wants to be the next best creator how do you become the next best creator uh, by learning how to be creative and one thing that Lloyd's wanting to do on the Society of Secrets is have multiple videos up about his creative process and how he creates magic and I think that will be worth its weight in gold that'll be worth the price alone so that's everything that I know about the Society of Secrets I've told you in depth everything I know the future is very bright for this. There's a lot of things that Lloyd has done differently to other online memberships that I think make it stand out from a lot of other memberships out there. Um, and he's building this huge community around him that are just really positive and that's encouraging word of mouth and more people are joining all the time. And, uh, and obviously he becomes bigger every single week because of his YouTube channel. You put all of these parts together and you have something that's a little bit special. And that's what we have here. I think the Society of Secrets is a little bit special. Now it's on Patreon. Um, so, you know, once you've paid and you're in, you can put a link on your phone and you can access it anytime. That's what I've done. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's great. I think it's something like 15 pounds a month. So it's not actually that expensive at all when you consider that most people will buy a new magic trick that costs 30 or 40 pounds and they won't even think twice of it. This is a third of the price and it's amazing. Yeah, it's a third of the price, it's amazing. He's constantly uploading material on there. He's constantly uploading new tricks on there. And it's something that I think a lot of people are gonna be spending a lot of time getting a lot out of. So yeah, um, if I was gonna give this re a review, I'm gonna give it 100%. I think that it's one of the best value subscription platforms in Magic. It's right up there with the Netrix. There you go, you see, I had to get that in there somewhere. It's right up there with the Netrix. I think that um, what Lloyd has done is he has really thought about what he wants in a subscription platform. He's thought about what he wants. He's thought about the benefits to the end user. He's thought about the features that he wants to see in there. And, and you know, you, you think about the Discord server and the deep dives and the talks on creativity, as well as the quality of the tricks, you put all of that together and really buying into this is a no brainer especially when you can cancel at any time, you know? So if you decide suddenly that you don't like it anymore, you can cancel, not a problem. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend it to everybody. It's called The Society of Secrets. There's gonna be a link in the description down below uh, and it is headed up by Lloyd Barnes. And I'm telling you right now, it is awesome. So there you go, guys. That's another uh, review show special in the bag. Do me a favor, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, if you've got a bit of spare money after you've joined the Society of Secrets and you would like to join the Netrix, where Lloyd Barnes is also an instructor, go to www.thenetrix.com. That's www.thenetrix.com. You can go and access uh, the Netrix right now and um, you can go check out my 
uh, my platform, which is very different to Lloyd's, but I'm also very, very proud of it. Uh, but this is this video is all about the Society of Secrets. So go check out the Society of Secrets. Uh, and I will be back again uh, on Monday with another video. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. My name's Craig from Magic TV. Mm.